So now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at this project. It's actually really easy if you have this kit. All you got to do is wire it up. They even have illustrations to make it easier to wire it up. But in any case, this is the Elegoo Mega 2560 R3 board. It's a clone of the Arduino board. Arduino lets anybody make their boards and sell them under different names. And what we have here is a red, green, blue LED. And it has three LEDs within it. And depending on how bright each LED is, will determine the ultimate color of the LED there. And so the board is adjusting the brightness of the red, the green, and the blue LED by changing their voltages. So now zooming in, it's a lot easier to see the wiring. So as I said, there's a red, a green, and a blue LED within this LED, three separate LEDs. And so uh, the blue one here is the closest. You can see blue comes from the board. This is gonna apply voltage to the blue LED comes to this protective resistor. This is a 220 ohm resistor. So this board and these resistors, they are in the kit, but these particular ones are ones I used from elsewhere. So the board's gonna look the same, the one that's in the kit, but the resistors in the kit are blue, but instead of using the blue 220 ohm resistors from the kit, I used resistors from another kit because it's easier to keep them organized but the kit does include 220 ohm resistors. But in any case, the resistor jumps the gap here to uh, this uh, pin of the LED, which is connected to the blue LED. And then for the red, the green, and the blue LEDs, they all end here. This is where they, uh, it's called the common cathode. They all share a cathode, and that has a black wire that goes to the ground pin of the board. And of course, there's the other end of the jumpers. So we have the black one going to the ground pin. The other pins are determined by the sketch, the program that we uploaded. And I got that sketch from the disc that came with the kit. So it predetermined it. But in any case, we got red to six, green to five, and blue to three. And normally these are the easier to see numbers, but the numbers are also on the board here. So now, these pins are pulse width modulation pins. I know it's upside down, but that's PWM. And what that means is that you can turn them on and off rapidly. And so, if you want half the voltage from pin six, it's a five volt output, but you want half the voltage, what you do is you just turn it on and off rapidly. You have it on and off equal amounts of time. So that means it'll only be on half the time and it simulates giving you half the voltage. And our eyes are not quick enough to pick up those quick on off flashes. And so it just looks like you're getting half of the electricity. So now they provide the sketch for you. And this file, this file you double click it, it opens up the IDE. That's the software that Arduino uses to program and upload those programs called sketches to the board. But in any case, this is on the disc, and here you can see the trail, but we'll kind of shut it down. The programs in that file, which is in that file, which is in this file, and then here's the links to stuff that's on the CD that comes with the kit. So I speak English, we're gonna go to English. Down here is the PDF file that you can look at the projects that they provide. And in that PDF file, it said to go to code here. And then lesson four there and there. And there's the file. As I said, you double click that. It opens up the IDE with the sketch already programmed. And then all you have to do is take this USB to USB adapter, plug it into the computer, plug the other end of the board, and that will also power the board. You can use that for power instead of the nine volt adapter that I've been using. Of course, all of this comes with the kit. And then you just move the cursor up to where it says upload and click upload. And it's gonna go quicker because I already have this sketch on there. It's not replacing a different sketch. So I think it'll go quicker, but uh, here you can see it's compiling it. And there, now we're done uploading. And I already had the board wired and everything. 
So you just gotta rewire those pins. But you can see right here, this is where we defined what each pin does. And this program, this sketch is actually quite a bit complicated. So we're not gonna go into the details of this sketch. They talk about it in the instruction book, that PDF file I showed you earlier that uh, has the, the different uh, example programs. But in any case, that's all you have to do to, to get this project to work. And now just kind of as a bonus, I wanna compare this LED. This is the only LED that comes in the kit, but here's one that I got from another kit, a red, green, blue LED. And you're gonna kinda notice that the color doesn't look as good. It all is pretty uniform here, whereas we have a whole bunch of different stuff going on here. I'm gonna turn the uh, light up here and disconnect the power. So the LED that came with the kit, as you can see, this is called diffused. And sometimes I'll refer to it as frosted because it kinda has that frosted look. Whereas this other one, that came from another kit is clear. In fact, I think all I have is clear other than this frosted one which comes with this kit. But as I said, this one came from another kit. So definitely you want to get these diffused ones whenever possible. These ones, it looked even worse in person compared to this one than what the camera picked up. So make sure you get these diffused ones. And a lot of books that I read they commonly say to take some sandpaper and rough up the exterior of this to make it look a little more like this one.